Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the call problem solving presentation. We are Ruminan Group. I'm Titi Panjang Tong. Let's start with the first topic. At Delhi Cow Farm, Gajaburi, Thailand, there has 100 to 100 cycle to cycle cattle. They want to be a successful daily cow farm, but now they are facing a lot of problems. First, if you see the numbers of milking cow and dye cow, there are not proper numbers of cow. Their standard cow farm should have more 62% of milking cow and less 38% of dye cow. And this farm also has a lot of problems, including decrease of milk production, decrease of pregnancy length, cow has abnormal adverse cycle and long dye cow period. Additional information about this farm. This farm has vaccination, deworming, and health care checkup programs. There are also normals. There has a valuable spare for planting for red cow, but they should to buy agricultural or industrial product for them. They mix nutrition feed by themselves and is depend on milk production. Feed and health management are following to standard of SCFS. Everything is seem like to be normal. What it is causing of the problems? We found something that's maybe cause of the problem. Is it 80% of daily cow has positive results of veterinary metal detector examination? Veterinary metal detector examination is an examination to detect the metabolic body in GI tract of the cattle. The positive result of this is it lead to the condition is called to magic reticular peritonitis or hardware disease. I'm talking about the diversity good. Thyroid disease is genetic disease that found in cattle, so how did disease occur? Let's talk about pathogenesis. Illuminate such as cattle, a portion of the stomach develops into a compound stomach, which consists of the lumen, reticulum, omasum, and the bomasum. Compound stomach proceeds nearby the diaphragm and pericardium. When cattle fleas from both concentrate and love edge, the face moves through the esophagus to the lumen for formating and mixing the face. Then it is sent to the reticulum. The problem is cattle fleas on sharp metals such as nails, sharp steel fries, and when transported to the reticulum, the sharp metal will penetrate the wall of the reticulum. And when the reticulum is continually compressed, the sharp metal is rapid more instantly until it can penetrate through the diaphragm and pericardium. It causes the disease, which leads to abnormal expression and potentially severe disease spread. My name is Kitty Hirondit. Now I'm moving you to topic. The signs and symptoms of hardware disease. Common signs and symptoms include a poor appetite, distended abdomen, reluctant to move, and starting with an arch back. Cattle may have indigestion and exhibit signs of pain when defecating and may stand with an arch back. From this signs and symptoms, it could affect the cow to decay in milk production. Then a cow can often be heard when a cow is forced to walk, and we could find the cow has moving or going when lying down or putting pressure on the sternum. And in most survey cases, the biscuit area can become enlarged due to excessive fluid and inflammation can appear. From enlarging the biscuit area, we could find the jugular vein which is enlarged and compression of this vein is clearly visible. In many cases, we could find the cow has irritation of the reticulum, possible infection, and pleonitis. And in survey cases, if object predicted to the reticulum, it could cause potential harm to starting organs, infect in abdominal or thoracic cavity, have not treated, the cow could possibly die. I am Bitsi Nina Thompson. Next is the effect of hardware disease in each body part. The first part is the reticulum. It may cause restoration and proliferation of the reticular wall and traumatic reticuloperitonitis. And the pictures show it has the abscess behind the elbow. The next part is this the diaphragm. It may cause perforating the diaphragmatic muscle and then lead to diaphragmatic hernia and diaphragmatic abscess. And the pictures show the metal that in the reticulum that may enter to the diaphragm since it is too close. The next part is this the pericardium and heart. It may cause pericarditis, stratissima, and heart failure. And the picture shows the brisket edema that due to the pericarditis. My name is Priyada Puxa to learn. Hardware disease can be diagnosed in a variety of ways. First of all, we have to know about the patient history first. Most cases present with anorexia, arc back, decrease in milk production, and reluctant to move. And then, the simplest way to diagnose hardware disease is physical examination, such as inspection, palpation, and auscultation. And next, we will move to the foreign body taste, such as the pain protection over the reticulum with the mullet, by swinging the hammer toward the area of the reticulum. The pole test by holding the pole in place by two is hands and pulling the pole upwards against the cow's abdomen or sternum. And the last one, the back grip, by placing both hands over the thoracic spinous processes caudal to the withers and pulling up the skin. If the cow groans and gives a sign of pain or discomfort, it is most likely suffering from heart disease. 
a metal detector is recommended because it helps determine the percent of metal in the cow. If the cause is metallic, a warning sound is given. And if the result is inconclusive, we can continue to cranial abdominal radiography or reticular ultrasonography to diagnose heart rate disease. And including hematology and abdominal synthesis can also help as well. I am Atisha Sangbanjong. Next, let's talk about how we can treat heart rate disease. In most cases, antibiotics will be given to help control any infections. And if they are given together with a magnet, they can also help prevent recurrences. Antimicrobial agents such as oxytetracycline or penicillin are widely used and effective. Magnet is the cheapest and most common method used at prevention and treatment for heart rate disease. It will be inserted orally by using a bowling gun, and the magnet will settle in the reticulum to trap and immobilize the metal objects so that it can prevent metal from penetrating and irritating the reticulum. In high-valued or high-producing animals, we'll do a ruminotomy, which is a surgical approach into the interior of the reticulum to manually remove the hardware. But in more advanced cases, those with secondary complications or do not respond to initial therapy should be evaluated. If the cow is little or no value, slaughter should be considered. I'm busy, Sanjan. When a cow gives birth to a cow, she will begin to produce milk for around 305 days. This is known as the lactation cycle. The lactation cycle composed of three periods, early lactation, mid lactation, and late lactation. Early lactation is 70 days after calving. The maximum milk production or peak of lactation is in the period around day 60 since the beginning of the lactation cycle. Then in next 70 days or day 71 to day 140 is the mid lactation. The maximum dry matter intake of cattle is in this period. Last period, late lactation, is last 165 days. Cattle are regaining their body condition score or BCS in this period. A normal lactation cycle for dairy cow usually lasts around 10 months. The remaining two months are known as the drying up period. Before giving birth, this rate is really, really important for the cow health, happiness and their wellness. I am Papa Tsong Lakitka. Let's talk about the nutrition. We'll focus on lavage, a general feeding. Lavage may be fed either in the fresh, dry, or enzyme state. There are three types of lavage that it can use out of its stuff. They are grass lavage, preserved lavage, crowdly stew, and byproduct. And the next, this is the general importance of lavage. For example, they are usually veritable to ruminous species. Lavage are more economic than concentrate. Function to maintain the efficiency of the GI tract. Maintain a normal milk fat content. And the next is feeding the daily ground during lactation. Start with the first state, early lactation. At the beginning of this phase, crown will achieve peak milk production. The crown needs 30% of lavage, 70% of concentrate to act with their rumination. Mid lactation, the main target during this period is to maintain peak milk production as long as possible by feeding a lavage around 1.5% of body weight. You should feed them with 40% lavage. Let lactation. In this period, milk will continue to decline. Source of protein and energy are not very critical during this period. Cheap lactations can be formulated with non protein nitrogen. The lactations of lavage and concentrate should be 50 to 50. Next is dry cow. Dry cow eat less than lactating cow, low quality rub bait, and concentrate should be fed in sufficient quantity but not too much to maintain the condition of body completely. And the last one is transition cow. This period is two to three weeks before calving continue until two to three weeks after calving. Low quality rub bait should be fed to encourage ruminating and food should be contain 13 to 14% of protein. How nutrition can be related with hardware disease. Sometimes in animal feeding, there may be a mixture of nail scrap attacked to forage crop and may affect the incidence of hardware disease as well. For example, part of mowing equipment may fall and mix with the grass that is used for cattle feed. In the top team, let's talk about additional technique of nutrition. Cattle should be able to several magnet into their stomach to absorb hardware if an animal accidentally eat it. Always stir the food with a large magnet 
before feed it to the cattle. Then be careful not to let wear and nail fall into the cow herd area. Magnet should be put in the food towel because there may be hardware mixed with wood. And the last one, the magnet should be paid in feed mixer because hardware may fall while mixing food. I am Tampon in Yard. For prevention and farm management, this is the most important part to prevent cattle from hardware disease. The most important step in prevention is to keep a major object out of it. You need to check and ensure further is free from hardware or make sure the quality of source further is free from foreign materials. You can install magnets in feed mixers or on conveyor belt in feed delivery system to keep your metal. You need to manually inspect for foreign body or pass magnet through concentrates and further before feeding. In addition, in addition, you should avoid construction activities why they further interrupt the animal inside the shed. Next is keep an eye on any abnormality in cattle that may be related to hardware disease. If a cow seems a bit off and you suspect it might have injected foreign material, you can use magnet which is inserted orally. This might help keep a piece of metal from penetrating through the stomach wall. Apart from hardware disease, there are so many other diseases that may affect the dairy cows. But hardware disease is unlike other diseases. Yeah, sure, it's not a carrier disease, but it's not only dangerous, very hard to kill, but also depends on human carelessness. Just a little bit of mistake can make this disease occur. So it's important that when students, farmers, or anyone who is related to dairy cows to take a closer look at the disease so that they know how to prepare and deal with it. Hardware disease, a common disease you need to know. Thank you. And here's our references. Oh, lastly, if you have any question, please feel free to ask. Thank you.